Hey, what's good, people? What's up? And welcome to another edition of the Royal Rant. Today, the topic that we're about to cover is this whole Pusha T Drake beef. Oh my gosh. And also the fact that it might be over and might have come to a screeching halt. So let's dig into this real fast. Now, the fact that this beef even started goes all the way back to back when um, the Clips did that song, What Happened to That Boy, with Cash Money and with Baby. Pharrell made the beat. They all signed up to do it. Boom, boom. They do the song. The check never came through. Pharrell and the Clips, or as far as Pharrell and Pusha T, um, they never really worked with anybody from Cash Money after that. Um, following that, they dropped the song Mr. Me Too and a few other songs that followed, uh, fired some shots towards Wayne and Cash Money's camp. So this starts with Pusha T and Lil Wayne. Then when Drake comes into the picture, he's standing next to Wayne. He's saying all these things. He's bigging them up on all this stuff. And they're talking about how much money they're making at Cash Money and Young Money and doing all this. Pusha, um, oh, and then uh, Drake drops that song, Two, uh, Two Birds, One Stone, aiming at uh, Pusha T and Kid Cudi. So through that, you got to wait a few years and then boom, you get you get Pusha T coming with infrared infrared. Obviously, from the title is the beam, the red dot beam. I'm lining you up now to take a shot. I'm aiming at you now. So excuse me. So, of course, this is where you get uh, Pusha T exposing, not exposing, but Pusha T reiterating what Meek Mill spoke on during him and Drake's beef saying as far as. Yo, you got somebody writing for you. How can you be top anything if you're not the one really writing or saying what you're saying? How can we believe you if you barely believe what you're saying, right? And what Drake's argument back at Pusha is, dog, you've been rapping about selling the same brick for the last God knows how long. And did you ever really even do it? So they're going back and forth. So Pusha T drops infrared within 24 hours. Bam, Drake comes right back, fires at him with Duppy Freestyle. Duppy in uh, Patois in Jamaican speak is ghost. It means ghost. So now you got somebody infrared. Now you got ghosts coming at you. So now with Drake, what he's talking about is he's referring to um, everyone in this whole little clique of things that's going on right now has written for somebody else or is ri written with someone else. So he's like, yo, how can you come at me? For having people writing that for me when Kanye does it. Kanye got you and Cuddy and Cy Hi to Prince. And he said, yo, I just came from Wyoming putting pen to the sheets. He said putting pen to the sheets. And you know everybody's writing on their phones nowadays. For the most part, I'm one of the few people that probably really do still put pen to the sheets. Right? So then my man's Pusha T says, oh man, because within that whole thing, Drake drops a line about Pusha T's fiance. So Pusha T goes, all right, I thought we were going with the no women, no children rule. You, you have just stepped over the line. Let's go. So boom, Story of Adonis comes out. Um, or what, what Adidon, sorry. Story of Adidon comes out, which is about Drake's son Adonis. And Pusha T correlates the fact that Drake's father's left him and all this other stuff. And what's his mom doing? Boom, boom, boom. And makes it make sense with the fact that you're not in this possible child's life that could be yours or whatever type thing and all that so he's going at him for that they're going then this is where Pusha T pretty much wins the battle is off that exposure because now Drake didn't even respond with a song he literally wrote like an iPhone note and posted on IG so now Kanye steps in and goes yo everyone's crossing the line we might need to chill out Pusha T reposted. I don't have Twitter personally. I've just done all the research between all the different interviews that are going on on like Hot 97, Funk Flex, um, these different stations that Pusha T's putting out and um, just going through the history of it all. And you kind of you can kind of gather it all together that, yeah, um, people are picking sides. So it's Pusha T, Rick Ross, um, Pharrell, a couple of these guys over here on this side. And then you got the Young Money, Cash Money Camp on the other side of the whole battle. So this is pretty much the whole breakdown. It might be done. It might be over with. But we're waiting to see if Drake's going to respond back to the story of Adonis and being uh, exposed for wearing blackface. Um, but at the moment, it does not look like it. Um, what a lot of the major media 
has given a timeline for for Drake to respond. He has not responded for in that timeline. So a lot of people are saying, hey, this might be done because he's not even responding with songs anymore. So th 